Hey guys, this is me Nango, and I decided to remake this video because I thought I was rushing. So I'm just gonna go over here. First of all, I'm doing it in the iPhone, and uh, you know you might wanna. I'm doing it in the iPhone, so first of all, you install it, assuming that you have a jailbreak. You gotta install it. Then you're gonna have to download two programs. Well, actually four, but these are the two you need right now. You go to all sources and find open SSH, and you find the other program, which is uh, services. You install those programs, and then when you install them, go to again go to install. And uh, for the NES emulator, install go to games and then NES. And for the GBA emulator, you go to. Give me a second, I'm trying to find it. Uh, I just have so many stuff installed on this iPhone. I'm just gonna. Okay, the Game Boy Advance is called GPS Phone. So you go to install it and go to all sources and install GPS Phone for Game Boy Advance. Well, and for the PSX emulator, you install it's called PSX for All. And uh, it's really hard to find PSX PSX ROMs. It it is really hard. There's not many of them. If, there's a lot of NES and the NES ROMs and, and, and GBA ROMs. Okay. Then when you have installed all those programs, go to services and uh, it's gonna be a screen like this and turn everything on and then you you know go to your main board. Go to settings, go to general and then uh, on the auto lock, put it on never. You don't want your iPhone to lock. Now, this is the computer part. Go. I'm gonna put the link in there. And uh, install WinSCP. WinSCP. It's a really good program. And your host name is going to be your iPhone's IP address. Okay. Username is going to be root R O O T and password Alpine A L P I N E. Now you click login, and uh, your iPhone doesn't have to be connected to your computer. You can just lay it there. Now you're gonna see a screen like this. It's gonna say Downloads Library Media. Click on Media. Now, you have to create a new directory, so right click, new, directory, so you click that, and make a folder called ROMs, R-O-M on capital, and, and a small s, you know, then uh, double click on that, and uh, this is where you're going to make the subdirectories for the NES emulator, the GBA emulator, and the PSX emulator. So, you know, after you install all those three, you have to make three new folders or directories. So, click on right click, new directory, and then you name them GBA, all on capitals for the GBA emulator. And ES on capitals and PSX on capitals. That's the three folders names. Now you already, you know, I already have them made. I don't want to remake them. Again. So when you're done, double click on let's say GBA, which is the easiest one. I'm gonna double click on GBA. Now this is where you're gonna put your games. This is gonna be blank. I just have you know games. And what you have to do is um, see if you emailed me and uh, I gave you the website, 
And well, I can't delete the website, so I'm just gonna, you know, turn the camera. I'm gonna turn it right here. I'm, I can't give you the website. I can email it to you if you send me an email. I'm gonna download a game. Okay. Um, Game Boy Advance ROMs. I'm gonna download Final Fantasy 1 and 2 Down of the Souls. Final Fantasy. Okay, I'm gonna install Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Now, I'm gonna click on download. Then click on the zip. Now, it's gonna tell me to save it. I'm gonna. Okay, it's done. Now, assuming that, um, you know, you're done with the download, you can see, I'm using WingRAR. Yeah, WingRAR. So, you know, I'm gonna drag the file on the desktop. Now, here's the GBA.GBA .gba file. Now, click on WinSCP. That's the GBA directory. Now, just drag it and copy. Now it's gonna tell you it's copying. It's gonna take a while, so I'm gonna stop it. Okay, I'm back, and uh, and it's not transferring into the iPhone. So what I'm gonna do is close it. Now, here's the iPhone. Go to your GBA, GPS four, and uh, it should be in there. See Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Uh, yeah, you can see it, but it's right here. Now you're gonna need a BIOS to, you know, to make the GBA and the PSX emulator working. I'm gonna make a separate videos of that, so it's gonna be in the response videos. If you want them, um, I'll make a video. Just you know, go to the commentaries, and it's gonna be there. Thank you for all your patience and listening. Have a nice day.